today goes anyway, it's another busy day, so just finished up a PT session in the morning. Um, gotta go get a fresh trim as I'm off to Westport this weekend for a wedding. So excited for that. This week's been extremely busy in terms of like putting together videos, content, so that we've got a lot more content to come over the next couple of weeks. I'm back and then for an Olympic lifting session later with one of our new members. So the whole crew were getting together for that, which is good. So there'll be obviously me, um, Hugh, I think Owen's jumping in, Dave, uh, Jake maybe, and um, Dara. Not sure whether Cullum's jumping in, um, depending on how his back is. Obviously he's been struggling with that. Um, but other than that, we've got another PT session. UL Bowls on the 14s are in this evening. We have a class to do and then training later and then it's home to get ready for the weekend. So, hope you enjoy the rest of the day. So just back from getting a haircut with Gareth. And Gareth has cut my hair for the last seven years. Don't trust anyone else to cut it. The plan is now to get a little bit of a warm done, a bit of pre-workout and then start our Olympic weightlifting session with Kieran. So Kieran's one of the members in the gym. Um, he used to train out in UL, but now he's in here with us. And he's agreed to kind of take us through a little bit of an Olympic weightlifting session. So really excited. Again, yeah, Olympic weightlifting derivatives are something that I'm keen to introduce to some of my training sessions. Not just my own, but obviously for like the athletes that I work with because they're excellent for developing like full body power, um, kind of rhythm and timing of that as well. Um, so it's going to be a good day. session I obviously must explain the title of the video um, so played a friendly the other day um, and came on the second half did really well was really happy with how I played and there was about 20 minutes gone in the second half and I come out obviously playing goals crosses come in come out to catch it I've lifted my left leg up and then some one of their, their strikers or a midfielder has come in underneath me and taking my legs from underneath me so similar to like obviously in rugby when you jump up for the ball and someone catches you from underneath and turns you so I was basically like free falling and landed on my left hip um, and usually when something like that happens it's like initial kind of like trauma it sees up a little bit it's a little bit sore and like two days later it, it clears up um, whereas now it's like what's it like four or five days after um, and there's still a lot of tightness there um, and then soreness like bruising on the bone so it's like in this area of my hip so the bony part to the back of my hip um, and then it's given me a lot of like walking's fine um, it's just like, like quick stuff is a little bit painful for me and it just it's not what I needed right now because obviously we're heading into the last two weeks of preseason um, a lot of games which I'm obviously gonna have to miss because I can't play um, Training now is limited so I can do all the technical stuff so like running um, handling and stuff like that jumping is fine as well Just no diving which is not ideal because that's where you get most of your like conditioning work in um, So it's just it's less than ideal um, But obviously I've done the bit of a warm-up there and hoping that kind of like frees it up a little bit and we'll see how the session goes <laughs>
Big jerk now, yeah? Drive it through the roof, yeah? Nice. Up. There you go, see? Nice. Nice clean, nice clean. You lost time, yeah, take your time. Yeah. Set yourself right. Yeah. Nice, One nice. Leg. One leg, no, excellent. Just now, just. You're fine, you're fine. Big jerk, no, big jerk. Nice. Up, 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 up. Leg, 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 leg. Nice. Nice. Let down, let down. Nice. Tell PB. Tell PB. Tell PB. And that is that. So 50 kilos on a snatch and. 80 kilo on a clean and jerk. Big shout out to Kieran for coming down, giving us a hand with the coaching because yes, while I coach these myself, it's always nice to have that kind of like objective and unbiased feedback from someone else who's watching you. Um, getting a lot of work to do to clean up that clean and jerk. Uh, first time I've done them from the floor because I found him, used to find them uncomfortable cleaning from the floor. Um, but it's, again, it's nice to get a nice little PB on it. Um, but yeah, hip held up nice. So I got training tonight, so hopefully um, it'll be okay. I'm definitely gonna get involved in some like handling stuff, um, technical work, footwork, a bit of running. Not sure if I'm gonna get involved in some of the diving stuff because the impact might be a little bit too much. And again, I don't want to kind of push too much and make it worse before the start of the season because the goal is to be ready for the start of the season. Um, so missing a session or not diving in one of the sessions isn't, isn't going to affect me too much. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one.